We see discus fish everywhere in the aquarium trade. They have been a staple of the hobby for decades and are loved by many different types of fish keepers around the world. Yet they remain rather mysterious in the eyes of many hobbyists. It's not surprising, considering they are known to be a holy grail fish and have a reputation for being difficult to keep. To learn more about the world of discus, we visited a freshwater tropical fish hatchery that specializes in breeding and raising these unique fish. There are over 300 tanks here at Jack Watley Discus, and almost 300 breeding pairs of fish. Discus are cichlids that originally come from the Amazon River of South America and thrive at warm tropical temperatures. The grow-out tanks at this facility are kept below 7.5 pH and between 86 and 88 degrees Fahrenheit to mimic the fish's natural habitat. In the Amazon, these fish breed after heavy rainfall when the temperatures drop. To encourage breeding in captivity, the breeding tanks are kept at a cool 82 degrees Fahrenheit. As the babies begin to grow and become free swimming, they eat at the slime coat on their parents as a source of food. At about a month old, the baby fish are placed in their very own grow-out tank, much larger than the breeding tanks. The fish here are fed live baby brine shrimp multiple times per day to keep them healthy and growing at a desirable rate. But the staff informs us the best way to keep discus happy and healthy is to always feed a variety of different types of fish food. Keeping the colors bright is one essential part of raising discus for sale on the market. All of the aquariums at this facility have backgrounds that are a shade of light blue. This helps with breeding because it makes it easier for the baby fish to find their parents for food. However, it also helps the discus maintain their bright coloration. These fish have a natural tendency to camouflage themselves. In dark aquariums or heavily planted tanks, discus will darken their colors over time to blend in with their surroundings. One key aspect to keeping discus healthy is good water quality. Reducing the amount of waste is essential. The tanks at this hatchery rely on mechanical and biological filtration to keep the water pristine. Air stones and sponge filters in each tank keep oxygen flowing through the water and serve as backup filtration in case of an emergency. We learned one of the best ways to ensure clean water while keeping discus fish is to simply not overstock the aquarium. They suggested starting cautiously with one fish per 10 gallons of water. If you are looking to level up your fish keeping, discus might be your missing piece. With understanding and proper care, they will reward you with spectacular colors and captivating behavior. Do you wish you could bring home any of the discus fish from this incredible hatchery?